Um, Salford is actually a city in transition which knows that it can't either stand alone or act alone. It does aspire to be a creative, connected, cooperative, compassionate, smart city. But it shares the centre with its younger but very much larger sister, Manchester. And collectively, we are the hub within what is a vibrant and iconic city region of Greater Manchester. And the way we work together in our combined authority is through very strong partnership and shared interests approach, approaches. Now, when we look at the subject of open innovation, some people could be forgiven for wondering, what's that got to do with public services? Well, OK, open innovation is probably one of the standard platforms, IT platforms for the private industry in Great Britain, but it is increasingly becoming relevant to the public sector. And the question is, what would open innovation approach uh, within the public sector bring? How would it affect the challenges to public sector and public services? In a sense, in a climate of dramatically declining budgets, we have to find collectively new ways of approaching the doing of more with less. And so we need to know what digital platforms, IT platforms like Open Innovation can do to help us meet those challenges. Why is that? Well, we know about the impact of Open Innovation in the private sector, but I'm certainly interested to see what Open Innovation can do to impact on governance, learning, and of course, social cohesion. In other words, what can open innovation do for the people that we serve? So, we have two key uh, speakers here today. Um, we have Professor uh, Martin Curley. He's the Principal Engineer uh, and Global Director of IT Innovation for the Intel Corporation. Martin and I are lifelong friends when we met for the first time an hour ago. <laughs> and we have... Uh, Councillor Nigel Murphy, who is an executive member of Manchester City Council with responsibility for environment, technology and digital agendas. And if you think about those issues, those names, titles, you'll see the correlation between them. Very important. So what I'd like to do, with your permission, is I'll invite the speakers up, but then I'm going to throw it straight open to the floor. Uh, I won't hog the questions to either of the speakers because of the time constraints. We'll go straight to the floor. And if it flags for any reason, I don't think it will, I'll pick it up. However, uh, can I ask Martin first to go? But Martin, let me tell you this. Something that struck me when I visited China and Japan. In what we would call the government cabinets of both those countries, there are several engineers in Great Britain, there are zero engineers in the cabinet.